Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, a bald explorer on my quest for England and I'm once again with the very lovely Andrew Norris. Hello Andrew. Hello Richard. I'm taking advantage of you whilst you're in the country. Oh, please do. Yeah. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> now, um, we are in still in Surrey, up w- in Sutton area? Uh, the when, Borough of yes, Sutton. Is- yes, in London Borough of it- Sutton. We are in the Oaks Park. Oaks it's Park. Just coming into bloom here. Isn't it fantastic? Nice Beautiful. to see a bit of colour. Yeah. Fortunately yeah. we have grey skies. We had a bit of sun this morning, but... Um, we missed it. We have missed it, yes. We're too slow. We're out doing another video. Yes. Anyway, today, in my quest for Englishness, we were, we were chatting away about um, Englishness and that sort of thing. And, of course, one of your specialities is music. Yes, I do like music and I compose as well. Yes, well, I'm, you know, you throw that away as if it's nothing. I compose as well. You know, it's a, that is a, a talent in itself. It's a skill I taught myself, yes. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Um, well, that's, I wonder if that's a, a, another subject. <laughs> self-teaching is a subject that maybe is, well, maybe everybody self-teaches in one way. Anyway, I suppose so. getting yeah, off, yeah. The, uh, off the topic. Music. Yes. And every country obviously has music. Would you say English music is very unique and different? I think English music has a particular flavour to it and I've, I've thought about this a lot and I haven't come up with any definite, definite conclusions but I do have some ideas as to how English music developed, particularly 20th century music. Right. You know the composers that everybody likes, Vaughan Williams, Elgar, yes. um, E.J. Moran I particularly like, um, Gerald Finzi, another lovely composer. and I. I thought a lot about how the music that they created has a particular flavor which roots it to often the location where they live right and I think in a way that's because these people they really had a closer connection with the earth with the soil and I I do believe that people take their characteristics from the soil where they live and when you say soil, I mean, are you being very specific with soil or the landscape or... The, 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 the landscape, the yes, things the, that grow from the it. geology, the geography. Yes. I mean, cliches, there's always a truth in some cliches. And when I think of northern England, I think of hard granite. Okay. And I think of uh, northern people saying, you know, a spade is a spade. You know, right. they don't mess around. Whereas no. southern English people, they tend to beat around the bush when they're talking over yes, subjects yes that's and i think you that, sum me up <laughs> and i think that is reflected in the the geology and geography of the landscape where these people where people come from right and also uh, folk songs okay come from the from the soil from the people working the land they develop folk songs now folk songs have a particular uh structure melody to them that you can often locate them to a particular part of the country right if you hear an irish jig you know exactly it comes from ireland or yes. a scottish reel you can tell it comes from that part of, of great britain now english folk songs a lot of the composers that i mentioned they spent time going around the country collecting folk songs yes and some of them like george butterworth his two english idylls beautiful pieces of music he drew on Sussex folk songs right to compose his his pieces and I think even if these composers do not quote them directly I think somehow the the melodic sensibility inveigles itself into their work into their thinking and comes out in their music yes and I found that with a recent piece that I finished last month when I listen to it you know I, I have a orchestral orchestra on my computer basically yes. no. when I listen to it, it it strikes me as having a particular English flavor to it all oh, right and and do you think that then because that's in our roots in our DNA as it were as modern musicians compose there's that's still at the back of their mind even if it's subconscious even if it's subconscious yes I do yeah. actually yeah so that you can almost hear when you know the Beatles were in Liverpool Yes. Um, and that perhaps there is a, a Liverpool sound that I'm comes sure out. there is, yes. yeah. Because yeah. you often do hear that. And the same with, um, y- you know, for me, one of the, the great composers, Elgar, yeah. so 
sums up a certain level of England. An Edwardian a, an Englishness. Majesticism. Yes, a, you know. a, a, absolutely. Yeah. A, a very aspirational and very full of pride. Yes, yeah. Which, as you yeah. say, Edwardian part of um, part of England. And it... And cleverly evokes emotions. It does, and I think music, of all the arts, it's music which evokes the strongest emotions. Yes, because mm. if you're down, you know, and you're sad about something, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, we all put on a boppy tune or something, and, yes, yeah. and, it, and it may lift our soul, even if it's temporary, yeah. It, yeah. it can do that. But some, some of the classical pieces are just so evocative and, and seem to go deeper. Indeed, indeed, because it, it, music evolves. I mean, you might look at a painting and you love the painting. It reminds you of a particular place. But you look at it and you take in the whole picture and then might look at details, but music evolves. It unwinds yes. over time. And, and everybody will have that um, cultura, cultural sense, I suppose, yeah. from wherever they are. So American music often sounds very American. You yes, hear the acoustic yeah. guitar mm-hmm, in a lot mm-hmm. of our, our American music yeah. and, in, and played in a certain way. So how you play an instrument also yeah. um, seems to come across. Indeed, yeah. I mean, um, look at the evolution of the guitar from the 50s yes. through to the 70s I mean, and then punk, you know, how they... Yes, exactly. You know, and medieval English music, when you uh, hear, especially that, hear yeah. some of that and, you know, things like obviously green sleeves and things like mm-hmm. that. A, Again, it sort of immediately takes you to the country. It, uh, particularly if that music is played on early instruments. Yes. I, I played a lute for about 10 years and I was always so intoxicated by that sound. Wow. Um, John Dowland. And I always got a sense that with medieval music, people were reaching, they're, they're pushing the boundaries and trying to discover yes. what the possibilities of music yes, were. Yes, that's, that's interesting because we we now have such a historical catalogue of music that we can reference whereas at the time of that music was being first expressed they were as you say pushing the boundaries yeah. and not knowing anything about the, the where we are now with um, mm-hmm. whatever beats per second yeah, and yeah. You, you know making um, melodies that we that back, back then would not have been conceived music not only that, but they would have had little, little opportunity to hear the music unless you were yes. in the court yes, or in the church. So their references were limited as well. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, I can see that music is going to be um, an interesting feature to to look at. I think the, it's well worth because it. Because as you go around, or as I go around different counties and different mm. parts, that yeah. music historically will have changed. Oh, undoubtedly, yes, yeah. And the, the flavour of the county will will seep through into the music yes I mean I find it's particularly in 20th century music with the composers that I mentioned because people were at that time I think they were feeling that there was a disconnect with the land particularly yes. with the two wars yes and I think that's absolutely right and uh, you know back to the land this whole notion of, of getting back to your roots people were searching for some kind of context in which to, to place themselves yes yes no, and people traveled more mm. in greater numbers and yeah. so were exposed to more of the country mm. and that sort of collective feeling of a, of a land and a nation yeah needed to be mm-hmm. as you say expressed, expressed yeah and reasserted yes I think because yeah. we were we were losing the Empire in parts of us we'd won a war but we hadn't really won the argument as yeah, such we were just yeah. defending ourselves mm-hmm. and people this whole notion of collecting folk songs started before the war yes uh, with Cecil Sharp uh, he started going around the country and then Vaughan Williams did a similar thing and uh, George Butterworth um, and there was a lot of like Morris dancing there's a, a very moving clip of film of George Butterworth uh, Morris dancing in 1912 and to think that he was then went to the front in yes. the First World War and was killed. I you don't think know anything really about him, so that's... Is, you know, how sad that was that such yes. a, a, an artistic, creative and fragile creature ended up on the front line in the First World War. Uh, yes, like so it's many. It's very touching, yeah. There's a whole bag to be explored of, of, of music and, yeah. and all of that, but w- again, my videos only scratch the surface. Yes, but yeah. thank you for introducing me no, to that as a as a seed. The theme of it. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, 
love to know your comments and music suggestions to look at and explore that would be fascinating but um we run out of time so unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> thank you so yeah. much for watching yeah. don't forget to follow like and subscribe always great conversation with you and yeah it's you been a real had joy a, yeah. had a different perspective which is wonderful well it's, it's nice when you live <laughs> oh. so uh, we're just about to be attacked by vicious dogs no, no worries <laughs> <laughs> so I love don't forget to follow like and subscribe yeah. and we'll see you in bits on a, in a dog's dinner yeah. on another video <laughs> yeah. till then yeah bye bye thank Goodbye. you Andrew. thanks Richard pleasure <laughs>